Fort Carson soldiers are going to battle in the kitchen. Army cooks are bringing the heat, taking part in a national culinary competition. New at noon, KRDO News Channel 13's Bonnie Silkman is checking out this special field kitchen where soldiers hope to win the coveted Philip A. Connolly Award. For these Army cooks, this is the Super Bowl of culinary competition. This is our chance to shine and show what we actually get to do out in the field and it's a great opportunity. When soldiers are on the field putting their lives on the line, not many people think about how they're fed. Infantry doesn't really know when their last meal is going to be, so they really appreciate it. So that means a lot to me personally. It's a lot better than eating the regular MREs. It motivates the people to keep going. Omelette definitely would be my favorite. Omelette, omelette? Yeah, I'll take an omelette. The unsung army chefs hope their hard work here is a recipe for success to take home first place in the national evaluated competition. Thank you. Now, we don't see them right now, but the judges are here watching these army cooks every move down to the smallest detail. I'm always a little bit nervous, but I'm more, you know, excited, confident to see where this is going to go. And in this real life situation, soldiers never know what may happen. Outside the field kitchen, soldiers are responding to a simulated attack. We honestly work really well together. We have a, like a good detail that helps us out. We have good leadership, and it's just like the motivation. We always got to keep it up. We'll see if the chef's culinary skills and the infantry's protection will impress the judges enough to win the Connolly Cup. At Fort Carson, Bonnie Sulkman, KRDO News Channel 13. Sixteen teams representing the Army, Navy, and Marines are competing over the course of the next month. Good luck, Mountain Post. Happening now, the city of.